Welcome back to War with Cinema. I'm your host, Greg, your local metalhead, and with me is... Par the Collector. What's up, everybody? All right. Before we get into this show, I need to do my apology. Oh, yeah? The uh, the episode we did before this was The Family. Yeah. What was his name? Uh, Luke Basson. Luke Basson. So, I screwed up royally. I didn't look in his filmography for whatever reason. Right. I'm not going to make this mistake again. Right. But this man did... This man's got fucking hits. Th- well, he did The Professional, which is... You love I've, that movie. Yeah. I've loved this movie since I was a kid. Like, I even made Great my movie. wife watch it, like, a couple months ago, and she loved it. It's, like, one of my favorite Gary Oldman performances. Yes, it is it really the is. best Gary Oldman performance. He kills that shit. So that I, and Drexel in True Romance. Yeah. I love that shit. And he also did The Fifth Element, which I really, really enjoy. Cubby, Cubby, my man. <laughs> <laughs> so I just needed to do an apology for him because... Yeah, he just disrespected that man. Yeah. And the family's fucking great, too. Well, I was going to say, I wish he could have brought that talent to the family, but... Oh, yeah. well. <laughs> Teach his own, I guess. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to say that before we continued on to this. I wouldn't have felt right. Yeah, my man got belt. Yeah, uh, that, got, got a belt. If you have not seen Leon the Professional, go watch it. It's one of the greatest movies. Don't stop listening, but after you listen to this, definitely go watch The Professional. It's most, fucking great. Most definitely. All right, well, today we are talking about Equilibrium. Equilibrium. Writer, director, Kurt, Kurt Wimmer. Yeah, is it Winner or Wimmer? Something Wimmer, like yeah. Wimmer, yeah. Christian, or the cast is Christian Bale, Sean Bean, Emily Watson, a few other people. Tay Diggs, yeah. Yeah. So, big timers. How much do you think this movie cost? It really actually surprised me when I looked this up. I mean, there's some, uh, there's, there's a lot of gunplay, some, uh, some, some, some ass kicking martial and arts. And there's a good like set design. Yeah, like, it looks really good. You know, the only thing. Well, I mean, I don't want to get too far into anything, but mm-hmm. like, you know, one thing that pissed me off about that shit was What's those that? fucking Cadillacs they were riding around in. <laughs> All this high tech looking shit, and they're riding around in whited out Cadillacs. Even the insides were spray painted white. In these bitches, <laughs> yeah. like, um, you know those tank uh-huh. things that they had in there? Yeah. Those are actually p- plane like pusher things. The thing that moved the plane around the. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, they cool. just spray painted them white. I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, okay. So all in all, how much do you think it cost to make this movie? Uh, I'm gonna say f- thirty million. Twenty million. No, oh, okay. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, it surprised me because Reindeer Games was came out around the same time, actually uh, a little bit earlier, and it cost forty two million dollars to make that movie. Yeah, well, they obviously didn't use that budget for the right things for Reindeer Games. But no, they didn't. Probably had some great hookers and blow on that set, though. <laughs> Fucking uh, hookers and blow. Hookers and blow. Uh, but it only grossed five million worldwide. You know why it only grossed five million worldwide? No, right? I don't, because I really love this movie. It's I. I Rewatched it and I still love this movie. Even though I I recognize its flaws this time around, mm. but I there's a lot of great stuff in this movie to take there away is. from. There is. All right. Well, that's it. And it came out in 2002. Came out in 2002. You wanted to know that before we got started. So yeah. I'm gonna give you the floor because this is my pick. What's Talk about pick? Equilibrium. All right, man, let me check you out, right? All right, it's war with cinema, bro. But this is, like, the one time I've ever sat down for this. Yeah. And I don't want to, like, throw something at you. Really? It wasn't bad. It was not bad. Now, there are things in it that, that, that bothered me. But overall, I did not hate the movie. And I would maybe even would watch it again. I think I would. And I think that's the first time I've ever said this on this fucking podcast. Yeah. I kind of felt bad. Like, I've been giving you a lot of movies that I know you're going to hate, and I kind of right. wanted to cut you a break. And I'm like, I think he's going to enjoy Equilibrium, so... Yeah, it wasn't bad. Uh, Tay Diggs did a good job in it. Yeah. He's a good supporting actor. And I think this was one of his first ones, because I don't remember seeing a lot of him before this. No, I think this is one of his earlier ones. He uh, uh, Save the Last Dance, he probably did that around there. But like I said, he's been in a couple movies, mm-hmm. but um, he did a good job. Christian Bale, like, that's fucking Batman before he was Batman. Yeah, like, this is one of his earlier job. roles, and I don't think they realized what they had on their hands. Like, oh shit, this guy can act. Yeah, like, he looked like Bruce Wayne. Like, that's probably what they pulled up when they were like, we need a new Batman. Have mm-hmm. you seen this fucking guy from the Matrix ripoff? Yeah. And that's my biggest complaint with this movie. Oh, is like, most definitely. They definitely owe them, the Wachowski brothers some fucking money. 
Like even the way like they would play music when he would start kicking ass. I was oh, yeah. just like, oh my god, they just ripped that off from the Matrix. It, it's a blatant ripoff, but at the same time, it kind of makes it its own story. Oh yeah, yeah, it's got like uh, it's got its own spin on it with the yeah. whole not feeling emotion thing. That's why it doesn't really bother me that much. I can kind of overlook it a little bit. Yeah, that, no, but uh, but no, it was not a bad made movie. It was mm-hmm. it was good. Like as far as like keeping me interested, kept my interest. Cool fight scenes. Uh, there's a part where he snaps that dude's arm in like four fucking places. Yeah. That was dope. Like I was like, hell yeah. So, but we know that you like it. But what is this movie actually about? All right. So this is a, uh, I guess you could say in a somewhat post-apocalyptic. Not, yeah. Is it post-apocalyptic? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All yeah. Right. It's World War Three. That's and right. They pretty much killed everyone right. for the most part. There's this small society left. And uh, these uh, these this council comes together and they feel like the whole reason the world is in war all the time is because of human emotion. Mm-hmm. And if they could take human emotion out of people, it would end all conflict and you'd have nothing but peace because you just have mindless drones. And that's pretty much what they do. Everybody has to take a shot of uh, no fun in their neck. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. I uh, guess it's a motion repressor or whatever. Early, early fun fact. It's prosium. Prosium. Which is actually the combination of Prozac and Valium. Shit, so that exists. No, no, no. It's, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could try to double dose those. I don't know how it would work out for you. Yeah, but I'm not a doctor. I wouldn't tell anybody. Yeah, to don't do, do that. Right. But that's where they got the name from. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a fun fact indeed. But uh, yeah, so everybody has to do it. And if you're uh, not down to be a sheep, you're killed or yeah. burned alive. And uh, yeah, if you produce any kind of art, or even if you have art, like right. pictures, music any type of art at all they they wear like rags that yeah. have no color no anything yeah the first actual scene is them taking down a warehouse full of like what they call them uh, resistance mm-hmm. you know rebels people that are for freedom and free will and everything they're like the scum of the earth in this movie and that's like the first thing you are is christian bales just goes in there like the lone ranger can we talk about how badass that fucking opening scene is though dude he fucking murking people left and right <laughs> like it's dope it's, like that's the one scene that like really draws you in like oh shit i'm in for something cool yeah there's a lot of gun like i said a lot of good gunplay a lot of gut shooting and, gun kata you know, yeah they actually made their own uh, another early fun fact the writer director came up with gun kata in his backyard mm. for this movie Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, so he actually designed the movements and everything himself. I thought it was a cool little... It was cool. I mean, it wasn't like, you know, military precision or anything, but, I mean, it was fun. You know, like I said, it was a good shootout. it's visually stimulating. But, yeah, and uh, they bust open this bunker or whatever, and they find a bunch of rare rare art and the Mona Lisa's on top. Problem I have with this scene. Uh So they bring a little scan tool, and they're like, it's real. Burn it. Okay, they have to get rid of all art anyway. Does it really matter if it's real? If he was like, it's fake, keep it. <laughs> That's a good point. We just murked like 30 people. Fuck it. Like, yeah, he actually drew this himself. It's fine, whatever. Yeah. That's the part that I was like, it doesn't matter if it's real or not. Like, fucking, you're going to you're gonna burn it anyway. Well, that's what I didn't understand. They were, they were all about n- no emotion, no music, none of this, none of that. But, like, they were... They killed his old lady for like being positive and shit, like just like <laughs> smiling too much in public. They're yeah. like, oh, this bitch has got to go. Yeah, like yeah. So Christian Bale is like the head guy that goes out and looks for all the all the resistance people, mm-hmm. and he's like a class one. They yeah, call, what he, they call them uh, clerics. Clerics, that's right. And that's what they do is they eradicate all emotion, and they are like. They're like the Marines of this shit, yeah, whatever yeah. it is. He's top know? tier, like, kill right. motherfuckers. And that was another thing that bothered me about the Mitch ripping off. Like, even the way they looked, like, with the fucking cape yeah. things and shit. Like, yeah. I was just like, God. A lot of aesthetic from it, the Matrix. Exactly. If they would have just took some of that out, I don't think anybody would have really compared it mm-hmm. too much. Because, uh, like besides you said, the like, story's way different. As besides, far as like, like, the gunfighting, like, that's all that's... Well, I mean, it's not like he was dodging bullets in slow motion and shit. Like, yeah. they didn't go that far. But just, like, certain certain scenes, I'm like, God, I feel like I've seen that somewhere. And then I'm like, <laughs> oh, wait, it's The Matrix. Yeah. Like, but it definitely had enough to hold out on its own. Mm-hmm. But I'll say that. But, yeah. Um, they finds out that his partner, Christian Bale finds out his partner. Sean is, Bean. 
Sean Bean, that's right, 006. Yeah. All that dude does is play a fucking traitor, bro. Like, have you seen a movie where that guy's played it straight yet? Like, or lives through the end? Yeah, that too. I don't think it's. I don't think it's happened. I really don't. I haven't seen it. But anyways, he catches and finds out he's been lying and holding on to books and shit. Yeah. And like, I guess he's not taking his medicine mm-hmm. or whatever. And Christian Bale's loyal to the T. He's like, yeah, bro, you got to go. I don't care how long we've been yeah. partners. You got to go. He fucking shoots him in the face. He shoots his partner in the face. That's how, like, for this he is. And all and, and, and right before he kills him, that's what does it. He just says that one line out of that book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, he's like, this is why we do it. And he's like, it is? But he has this, like, mm. twang in it or this, like, emotion in his voice. And he keeps, like, replaying it in this, like, uh, video recording thing. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of what gives him a, gives himself away. But I yeah. think he wanted to be given away. Like, he didn't want to hide it anymore. He was kind of right. done. Well, I mean, he got some ass, too, because that's another thing that's outlawed. You can't you can't have sex no more because that's an emotion. Mm-hmm. You know? You're think. only supposed to procreate. Is that what it was? Yeah. I thought they did it all in, like, test tubes and shit. Probably. I figured. But, yeah, uh, so Christian Bale kills his partner mm-hmm. and then goes home like it's... Psh- just another day at the office. Yeah. And his son is like drinking the Kool-Aid hard. <laughs> like his son's all about this shit. Like, yeah, he's more serious than Christian Bale uh, is. Dude, the kid was the creepiest fucking part of the whole movie. Like, Can we talk about how good of a child actor that kid is? Dude, that kid hat was on point. Mm. He's probably 30 now, but yeah. like he did his shit then. Mm-hmm. And I, like, I was like, I was so afraid because, you know, the daughter, you can tell the daughter ain't feeling it. She's still smiling at her dad and making funnies and stuff like that. Yeah, she's and, playing with her cereal. Like, she has right questionable, you know, things. Yeah, I, and, like, the way the boy is, like, such a, you know, cadet, mm-hmm. like, just down for the cause. Like, I really thought he was going to fucking kill his sister at some point in this movie. Yeah. Like, I was really happy they showed her again at the end. I was like, thank <laughs> God. Like, <laughs> and when Christian Bale drops his medicine and it breaks across the floor, like the kid walks in, like, what are you doing? Like, he's about to take him out right there. Like, he's like, I, Christian I'm just Bale, checking my out. cartridge. I've never done that before. He's like, yeah, you've never done that before. He's like, you need to go down, log that shit, get another one. And don't let this shit happen again. Yeah. Like, who works for who here? <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like, my son talked to me like that, boy. He'd be getting some medicine. No, yeah. I was just kidding. But still, like, yeah, the kid was creepy as shit. Yeah. Uh, he did it. And like the whole time, almost through the whole movie in the backdrop, you got the the father. What do they call? You know what they call him? The high father, oh, yeah, or something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. And the whole time, it's just constant videos of him propaganda, mm-hmm. propaganda, propaganda. Yeah, talking about how bad emotions are, how much better their life is now right. that there's no war. Nobody runs. Nobody smiles. It's just like the worst, probably the worst situation you could see mankind going in. Like that yeah. was their final solution. Like we're fucked. That's why I like this movie so much, because I'm a very creative person. Right. And if I had that taken away from me, there's no point for me to live anymore. Like, that's my And that's my definitely main... what the message of this movie was. Yeah. That, you know, being us, that's mm-hmm. what makes us us, is our creativity yeah, that's and what our separates, individuality. Uh, yeah, that's what separates us from the animals, is, mm-hmm. our, is our creativity, the things we can accomplish as humans. And to take that away, then, like the girl said that he captures later on in the movie, it's like, why do we live then? Like, what's our purpose? Yeah, and like... Once he stopped taking the drugs, you know, he was like, you could tell it like everything that he had never even thought once about, it was just bothering him now. Yeah. Like, I thought for real deal, he was going to let him shoot that dog, bro. Yeah. Yeah. They find a dog and they're like, kill it. You know, no dogs. Kill it. <laughs> like, I dogs comple- make fun. Kill that shit. I completely forgot the they actually shoot some dogs in this movie. Yep. Like, I remembered it right before I sat down to watch this. And I usually watch them with my wife. I was like, babe, you need to sit this one out. Dogs die. She's like, why, why do you watch so many movies where dogs die? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I really don't well, they know. They double barrel these dogs. Oh like, boom. Just like. You want another early fun fact? Yeah. So the dog noises you actually hear in the movie uh-huh. was done by a human. He's a professional dog noise maker. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, those weren't real dogs. That was just some dude. Well, now I don't enjoy it as much. I thought they were really beating those dogs, bro. <laughs> No, nah, I'm just kidding. Don't don't get peed on me. Yeah. But yeah, they uh, they're pretty brutal. But that's the whole. That's what the movie gets into. And then, like, since he killed his former partner, his uh, his new partner is Tay Diggs, and Tay Diggs is like 
wants to be what Christian Bale is. He wants to be the number one. He wants to be yeah. that guy. And he's like, I've been studying you my whole career. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make my career with you. And like, he keeps saying it like that, but you think he means like, I'm going to be your Scotty Pippen to your Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But really, as the movie goes on, you think to yourself like, oh, no, no, no. He means like, he's going to make an example out of your ass. Yeah. And that's how he's going to make his career. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's... Start searching into his partner's death more because mm-hmm. the more emotion he starts feeling, he starts knowing that things aren't right and that he's not doing things right. Yeah, because when he drops his uh, his medicine and breaks, he doesn't go and get the refill. He mm-hmm. actually, he's kind of like, let's see what happens. Like, can yeah. I control this on my own? But then he starts feeling and there's this one moment where he's like, he wakes up, he sees a little bit of light coming from his uh, his window that's like painted over, I guess. Mm-hmm. And he rips it off and he can see the sunrise over this beautiful city mm-hmm. and you can really feel it like with the music and his, his emotion. Cause Christian Bale's a great actor. Like you really feel his emotions yeah. in that scene through the whole movie. Honestly, man, oh, like, yeah. that's how, like if I had never watched a Christian Bale movie before this, like that's, this would probably would have been the movie that I was like, all right, well this dude knows what he's doing. Yeah. Just the, like the most subtle things like that part where she, he goes to interview the chick, uh, his ex-partner the one he kills his old lady yeah he goes to interview her and they don't even like grab each other or nothing like that it's just they just touch their fingertips Mm -hmm. and it's just so like you could almost feel like he's literally has not touched somebody in that long like yeah because he usually wears these gloves yeah he he doesn't touch anything you know because he's not allowed to feel nothing but now i was gonna say that there was a lot of good times in this movie where just the little subtleties, like these people honestly had never felt that sensation before. They had never felt, they did a good job of making that, bringing that to life. Mm-hmm. Like when Christian Bale is looking at that dog, like you can, you literally looks like that's the first time he's ever loved a dog in his life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they go to like, I'll take care of it. And he's like, no, it has to be tested for it us. It have diseases. <laughs> yeah, so you know, he takes he's just it away. Shit up, so he doesn't like, let them kill that puppy. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like one of the cutest puppies ever shot in a film. Right, for sure. <laughs> like, I want it. It's up it. there with the John Wick dog. Like, <laughs> God it's, damn it. Uh, that's what I was going to say. This movie is definitely Matrix meets John Wick. Because, mm-hmm. like, he's fucking up nine, ten dudes at a time. Oh, yeah. Like, you know what I didn't understand? He killed all those people with the. Because, like, uh, he pulls his guns out and they pop those little spikes out the end. Yeah. And he kills all 10 of them like that. But before that, he was blowing them away with the guns. Like, why didn't you uh, just I think he ran sh- out of ammunition. Is that what it was? I think so, yeah. Oh, that makes sense, though. He ha- he's number three in most kills in a film in this movie. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Even now? Like- he, still, now. He huh. has the third. He killed, like, uh, I didn't write it down, but like 200 people at least, I think, in this movie. Yeah, he takes out like a good good nine ten hit squads oh, yeah. during, during the process mm-hmm. of it. I'd say that last scene where he's in all white and he's going to kill the father or whatever that was a badass scene. It was yeah, very I love that. But it's good uh, shit. Uh, I hate doing I. I hate doing these fun facts early, but they make me think of them. Whatever we That's talk the about, the point of the fun facts, bro. Anyway, fun fact: mm. the. Uh, so I'll do this one first. The violence actually gets progressively more violent. Mm. Like it starts off kind of PG at the beginning of the movie, yeah, but it slowly, like slowly gets worse and worse and worse. And like you don't see blood, but then at, by the end of the movie, there's a lot of blood. Mm. They did that purposely to kind of like. That's the emotion. He was feeling anger. They want He wants the audience to feel that too. Mm. Like as the violence gets more dramatic, they want you to be feel more dramatic or anything like that. You know. The the one thing that kind of pissed me off, not that it was badly made or nothing, but it kind of pissed me off is the fact that, like, I get that this dude is the number one guy. Like, he's that guy. Like, yeah. don't fuck with him. He's our number one. But <sighs> towards the end of that, man, he kind of runs through them all oh, yeah. pretty quickly. Pretty like, easily. Even Tay Diggs, who I'm thinking, like, all right, this is going to be, like, one of them showdowns you know chuck norris bruce lee type shit it fucking was nothing well the thing is he was so cocky throughout this whole movie and christian mm. bale's like all right let me show you what's up like you're not as great as you think you are and he cut literally cuts, cuts his, his face fucking off. face off bro <laughs> he tries to look back at him slides right off yeah uh Uh, But another fun fact on top of that is one thing that bothered me this time around is when he's storming into the father's um, establishment, mm. you know how he shoots the guys out front? Yeah, and, and, and all it's the like go through cloud, the door? Plow, a cloud of dust 
I'm like, what are these guys made out of? Dust? Like, what was the reason for that? I actually, when I was looking into it, that was the baseline for blood. Like, it was supposed to look like blood splatter, but they ran out of money. Uh, damn. <laughs> I thought so. I they just, it just left like it in smoke or something. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. It bothered me. But. Well, no. He shoots through the doors, and you can see the holes go through the doors. But like behind the doors was the fucking desk, and mm-hmm. old boy didn't look like he moved at all. There's no gunshots to behind him or around him. Yeah. But I don't know. There's Is little it, like there's little parts of this movie that you could be like, oh, he's feeling emotion there. Like you can really pick it apart if you wanted to, but that kind of mm-hmm. like loses its, you know, the special right. parts of it. I honestly, I feel like if uh, if they would have used a different kind of action, you know what I mean, and it wouldn't have been so c- close to the Matrix. Yeah, I feel like this movie would have been a lot bigger to everybody, not alone. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. How much mo- How much money did you say this movie made? May- it only made like five million on its release. Well, I heard, I read online that overseas it wow. made its budget back, right. so they pulled it out of theaters early. Just so it didn't lose money by keeping it in theaters too long, okay. so I think I think that had to do with people not really knowing about it. Right. Like I wouldn't have known about it if one of my friends and like years ago was like, "You got to watch Equilibrium." Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, "All right, I'll check it out." Because you know that's what we did. We recommended movies to each other. Right. Well, like I said, man, like I w- I really wanted to tell you it was shit, like all the other ones, but like I didn't hate it. I didn't I didn't think it was bad. Uh like I said, there and a couple things like I just talked about, like, you know, I felt like he ran through everybody too quick. Yeah. But and, that's uh, what I love is they put a polygraph test on him for whatever reason to like prove that he's feeling or whatever. Right. And the needles are going crazy or whatever, and then they suddenly stop. And the doctor's that like was Oh cool. shit. Yeah. And so that, that was means cool. he he's reached like off. peak like I'm gonna fuck everyone up. Like he turned off all emotion at that point. Yeah. Y'all want that? I'll show you some no emotion. <laughs> he killed the shit out of There's those There's so dudes. many great... Uh, another great part in this movie is he has a dream where they're taking his wife away because mm. she's a, a a violator Yeah, what do they emotions. call him? A sense... A sense a bi- Sense offender. Sense offender, that's right. That's yeah, right. his wife was a sense offender, so mm-hmm. they break into his home and to take his wife away. And what I really love is an artistic thing that the director did is his wife is high contrast. Mm-hmm. Like she has a lot of a lot of color, lot of color in her yeah. skin. He has been like washed of all color. He's almost like grayed out. Mm-hmm. And then she runs up, kisses him, Don't and then me. like the contrast comes back into his skin like it's a little bit he started to feeling it a little bit i thought it was a cool little like no yeah visual visual and artistic the, the lady he goes and talks to i thought that was another big thing like he talked to her and that that brought back a lot of the memories about his wife mm-hmm. and when he watched her getting taken to the incinerator he pulled up his wife's video and he just saw himself standing there yeah not doing anything and then he just tries to book it over there to save her and it's just too late yeah and literally like he missed it by a fucking split he second. watched her get watched burned her get burnt, and he didn't even watch his wife get burnt yeah and that right there was when he just made that choice like it's fucking over with for y'all mm-hmm. yeah it was it wasn't bad look uh, i wish i could have hated it more but it was yeah bad. i kind of figured you were gonna like it that's kind of why i gave it to you because the next movie you're watching that i'm giving you you're gonna fucking well I don't know. Are we doing... I don't want you to do Pi. I want you to do Troll 2. I want to get that one out of the way. Yeah. Because Troll 2 is going to be, like, hard. Bad, right? bad, I'm huh? giving you a good one. That way... To soften the blow of how shitty the this blow is going to be? Soften the blow of Troll okay. 2. Because that's what you're going to watch next is Troll 2. Because I've been dying to talk about that movie. All right. So uh, somebody else has seen it other than you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to get into my little fun yeah, get facts. Get your fun facts, man. No wires were used during the filming. All the stunts were done in conventional means. Even the triple axle backflip and shit he does? Yeah, they use trampolines. Okay. Well, fuck it. That's something I didn't know about Christian Bale, too. That's a bonus fun fact. Yeah. Christian Bale's actually a Cirque du Soleil motherfucker when he's not doing acting. Like, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's all. That's all? I huh? did all my other fun facts. Like, Well, that was cool, though. You peppered him in. Yeah, I peppered him in. Dog like, noises. Violence becoming increasingly more graphic. Yeah. The drug's name. 
I liked him in the all white and the samurai shit too. I feel like if they'd have done more samurai shit, that would have been cool too. That's what I was thinking. Like, I kind of wish there was more in that, more of that in there. Yeah, he put the sword in there at the end, and I was like, that's fucking cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was actually, I think that was another fighting style he kind of came up with because that's not typical. Right. Yeah. But also, another reason I gave this to you is because. We're doing Ghost Dog next, and you kind of like told me like the way of the samurai, like he uses his gun as a mm-hmm. sword. So I, I thought this would be a good compliment to it. It was, it was, yeah. It, uh, I liked Christian Bale in this. I like mm-hmm. Christian Bale in almost everything he does. Yeah. But it's good to see some of his older movies that, like I said, I had not seen this. Uh, Which I'm really surprised about. I really thought you saw it. I, you know, and the, the, like when I started watching, it, I kept thinking like, well, fuck, maybe if I get into it for a minute or two, I'll remember it. But like. I don't know how this shit got by me. Damn. I was clean in movie theaters in 02. Like, I feel like I should have seen this shit. Damn. Like, you know what I mean? I feel good. I feel good about that. I love giving people movies that they haven't seen, that they enjoy. Yeah, it wasn't bad, bro. If I was out on the hunt for, you know, my YouTube channel, part of the collector. Yeah. Settle to drop in there. You can plug it anytime. Like, yeah, I'm man, never against know. that. Yeah. yeah, so he has a YouTube channel where he goes out. He calls it treasure hunting. Well, that's what my son's called it. That's what you call it. I, it. I like it. Yeah. And he finds things for next to nothing. Yeah. Like movies, comic books. Yeah, jerseys, toys, all kinds of stuff. But, and then uh, he uh, he uploads it to YouTube talking about what he found. So, part of the collector. It's yeah. He spells it like a 15-year-old rapper, though. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you have to. You know, i got to stay connected with the youth. It's you know? par, T-H-A, collect, uh. Yeah. Not, not E-R. E-R-A. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, like I was just about to say before all that, but uh, if I was out treasure hunting yeah. and I saw that movie, I'd buy it. Hell yeah. I'd even pay a dollar for it, bro. A whole dollar? A whole dollar, dude. Dang. I don't know if I'd go over that. But. So uh, so what would you rate it? Uh, I'm going to stick out. I'm going to stick with my base over there out of 10. I'll get this one a 7. 7? Yeah, solid 7, too. Maybe 7.5. That's decent. Because like I said, other than the shit that I thought was a little bit of like too much Matrixy, mm-hmm. other than that little bit, there was nothing early I had that I wanted to shit on about this movie. Like I was like, good job, Greg. Yeah. This is literally the first time you've given me a movie, and I was like, fuck you, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said, I was giving you a break. But I mean, if you really wanted to, you could pick this movie apart, but then you'd lose the whole fun of it. Like It's just a gun, a good like action. Well, that's what I was saying. Other than the coincidences of that and The Matrix, like mm-hmm. I don't feel like there was anything bad. Like The acting was on point. It was shot well. Like yeah. you said, the, the, the filmmaker, the way he did the things with the color and the blood and stuff like that. It was a good lead. It was, or not goodly. I just don't know the damn words, but... <laughs> It was a well-made movie. Yeah. Like, it wasn't like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes you can be like, oh, that was shit dialogue or that yeah. was shit uh, effects, whatever. Like, yeah. I thought the movie was was very well put together. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Um, for me, if you, like we've said throughout this whole thing, if you like The Matrix, check this one out. It's yeah. not a, no. it's not trying to be The Matrix it it's, borrows it's really a little, not though. It borrows elements from the Matrix. Right. If you like the Matrix, check this out. If you like Christian Bale, check this out. This is one of his like better earlier movies. Earlier sure. good performances. So definitely check this out. I would definitely buy this one on Blu ray. Like I I don't know if they have a Blu ray release of it, but I'm I wanna sure get there it. Is, bro. You'd be surprised what they have Blu ray releases That's of. That's true. They even have Sucker Punch on Blu ray. I have it because you gave it to me. Yeah. Oh, I need to rewatch that. It's the extended cut, and I haven't seen the extended cut. Yeah, extend me out of that shit. <laughs> but, All right. Yeah. So, so that's uh, Equilibrium. Next, we're going to talk about Ghost Dog. Way of the Samurai. I think he's going to be very surprised about what I say about this movie, and I'm excited. Forrest, Wicker, or Forrest Whit- Whitaker for president, y'all. <laughs> All right, we'll see you then. Later. <laughs>